Welcome back to Simply Sweet. I'm Allison Gargaro, and today we're making your not-so-average pumpkin pie. Still sweet in the middle, but we're making a ginger snap crust. So that's going to give it a nice texture when you go to bite into it. But I want to let you guys know about a cookbook that 23ABC and I have made called Recipes to the Rescue. 100% of the proceeds go back to the mission at Kern County, and there's so many good recipes in here for Thanksgiving, as well as around the holidays, as well as some sweet treats like this tiramisu made by Miss Lee. Pizzetti, but speaking of sweet treats, let's get right back into the pumpkin pie. First, we're gonna start by making the ginger snap crust. Now this is going to give the pie a nice bite when you're eating it, as well as a little bit of extra sweetness, which no one can complain about. So I have two cups of crushed up ginger snap cookies in here. To that, we're going to add one fourth a cup of melted butter, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we're just going to mix this up with a spatula. Once this is all combined, we are going to pour the crumbs into a nine inch pie tray. And this is the fun part. So I'm going to grab a measuring cup. We're just going to use the back of it and we are going to smash down all of the crumbs. We are going to pop it in a 425 degree oven for 10 minutes until it gets nice and crispy. And while we're waiting, let's make the pie filling. Now to the best part, the pumpkin pie filling. We're going to start with one can of pumpkin puree. Make sure that you have the puree in there and not the pumpkin pie filling. And then we are going to add in our eggs. So I have three egg yolks. And the reason I'm using yolks is because it is going to give it a creamy and rich texture when you go in to cut your pie at the end. And then we are going to add one whole egg. Next onto a little bit of the sweetness, we have one can of sweetened condensed milk. So this is going to give it that added sweetness. Then onto our spices, we're going to add one and three quarters of a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Oh, one of my favorites during the holiday season. And then we have to add a little bit of salt to help balance that sweetness. And then we're going to grab a spatula and start stirring. Just took the crust out of the oven and the kitchen smells phenomenal. Now we're going to be putting the pie filling inside. But the good thing that we let this crust cook just a little bit is that it has that crispy texture and it is going to hold all of this delicious velvety filling. So now we're just going to pour this right on in. It already smells so good. I cannot wait to try. So now I just want to tell you a few tips on the cooking process. We are going to put this back into the 425 degree oven for 15 minutes and then you're going to turn the oven down to 350 and let it cook for another 30 minutes. I know that seems like an extra step, but I promise you it's worth it. It's going to make sure that this pie does not overcook and that is going to be nice and cooked thoroughly, but also still creamy and not dry. It is just so good. You get some sweetness from the pumpkin pie spice, but not too sweet, thankfully, to that salt that we added to help balance it out. But adding in those egg yolks, that really helped with the texture. So you get a nice creamy and rich texture and then the crust, a little bit of bite, but then you do get a hint of that cinnamon. It tastes like holidays all around. And I can't wait to hear how you guys like this pumpkin pie as well as if you get a cookbook by liking my Facebook page, Simply Sweet Allison. Thank you so much and happy holidays. Professional kitchen and appliances provided by Earners, Kern County's appliance leader.